Hi there, I'm Mabel Jong, and you're watching the World Healthcare Congress Interview Zone. And I'm here with Craig Savage. He is a senior principal at Ascendian Healthcare Advisors. Craig, great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, Mabel. You must be so very busy right now because there are a lot of deals to be made, it seems like. We are busy. We are busy, especially for our firm um, with hospitals and health systems, uh, particularly those that are uh, at a competitive or financial disadvantage that are looking for partners. Mm -hmm. um, our firm focuses primarily on the strategic side. There may be attorneys and bankers doing more of the legal and financial work, but, but uh, what we've been seeing is, uh, in, in our markets, is um, a, a need, frankly, given what's going on in the marketplace, to find upstream partners. What is the concern? The concerns primarily are, are, are really threefold. Um, first, because, and, and it's coincident really with, with health care reform and the ACA, um, but I think it's exacerbated by that as well at this point in time. But, but three things that, they're prim that our clients are primarily looking for. Um, capital, um, they are out of money and they still have capital projects that they need to pursue. Um, uh, leverage in the marketplace with respect to developing their physician network. Um, a lot of smaller organizations and maybe even less sophisticated organizations don't have the wherewithal to develop their physician networks and they're looking for a stronger partner that may have more experience in that arena to help them out. And then efficiencies. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of hospitals, at least those that we work with, uh, probably could take a lot of costs out and they're looking for assistance, if not um, attribution, in fact, to, to or toward an upstream partner to help them do that. What if um, some of these smaller uh, organizations don't happen to find anyone in the next one, two, three years. What do you foresee happening? Well, I think a lot of it depends upon strength of medical staff, um, where they are now in terms of time frame. But, but my belief is, is that if, if some of these smaller organizations or lower performing organizations aren't able to find a partner in say 24, 36 months, then they might be at a, a grave disadvantage. And um, it's our belief that um, whether it's an intended consequence or not, um, given the, the landscape right now, uh, uh, several, if not a lot of providers, are, are really going to go out of business. And, and um, that's going to do a couple of things. Uh, one may be positive and one not so positive. Um, the, good, the good news there might be that, um, um, unfortunately, for the organization that may be going out of business, it's contributing to a reduction in capacity, which frankly I think we need in our industry, in the hospital side of the industry. Um, we have way too much capacity across the country. Now, um, that may not apply to certain markets. Um, smaller rural areas or um, um, uh, urban areas where there may be few providers or limited access to providers, um, the loss of a hospital or a, a clinic or a physician's practice may be a detriment and it's going to affect access to care, which is something that I have great, great concern over too. Mm -hmm. So what is keeping you most busy right now, Craig, and what are people asking, uh, what are clients uh, wanting you to do? Well, since, since we work primarily on the strategic side, um, we have been asked primarily to work with hospitals and health systems that are seeking partnerships. In other words, that, um, for lack of better words, upstream, um, more sophisticated partners. And so we've been, we've been asked to do a, a couple of things. One, assist hospital managements, the C-level management and, and boards with assessing their readiness to move forward with some sort of transaction um, or partnership. Um, and then to help them identify who the potential partners might be. And so that, that's what we're doing in terms of a strategy and really helping them position themselves, um, put them in the best light to make them the most attractive to multiple suitors. And then we follow that up typically with uh, um, serving as not so much broker of the deal because that's where the, the bankers and attorneys come in, but we serve more as, um, um, for lack of better words, marriage counselors. Mm. And, and so we're working with our clients to um, uh, not only help them find the best opportunity, but also what the best relationship is going to be for them going forward. Hmm. So sort of like a e-harmony for uh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. healthcare and, M&A. And, and also helping them with maybe some of the prenups. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, Craig, Craig Savage, thank you so much oh, for your time today. A it's real pleasure, pleasure on Thank my you side so much. As well. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mabel. Thank you.
and I'm Mabel Zhang. Thanks so much for watching.